In this lesson, we're going to see how you can combine multiple methods of factoring, such as greatest common factor and difference of two perfect squares, in order to factor a polynomial completely. Let's start with an example. Suppose we want to factor the polynomial 2x squared minus 50. The first thing we look for, as always, is the greatest common factor. What number goes into both 2 and 50 evenly? The number is 2. When I divide the terms by 2, my parenthesis has left in it x squared minus 25. But when we look at the parenthesis, we notice that we actually have something very special. We have a difference of two perfect squares. We can factor that difference of two perfect squares, knowing that x times x gives me x squared, and 5 times 5 gives me 25, into the binomials x plus 5 times x minus 5. Don't forget to bring down the 2, which was the greatest common factor, and now you have factored that binomial completely. Here's a second example. Suppose we want to factor 3a squared minus 27. Where do we begin? By looking for the common factor, of course. The greatest common factor here is 3, and when we divide both terms by 3, we're left with a squared minus 9 in the parenthesis. Do you see something special in the parenthesis? It's a difference of two perfect squares. We can factor that binomial a squared minus 9 into a plus 3 times a minus 3. Don't forget to bring down that common factor from earlier in the problem, and now you have factored completely. If you find that you struggle finding greatest common factors of two numbers, you can always use your graphing calculator. Let me show you how. If you were to take your TI Inspire CX and start a new document, and add a calculator, you can type into the calculator GCD using the alphabet keys at the bottom, and then in parentheses put the two numbers with a comma in the middle, in this case 3 comma 27. If you can't find the comma key, it's down at the bottom next to the letter O. And when you hit enter, the calculator will tell you the greatest common factor of those two numbers. As we see here, the greatest common factor of 3 and 27 is the number 3. Now let's try a couple more examples, and I'll use some numbers that are larger, so perhaps you might want to experiment using your graphing calculator in order to find the greatest common factor, or perhaps you want to do it by hand. Can you factor 150x squared minus 6? Please pause the video here and see if you can factor completely this binomial. We begin by finding the greatest common factor, which is 6. We divide both terms by 6, and in the parentheses are left with 25x squared minus 1. We notice right away that this is a difference of two perfect squares. 25x squared minus 1 can be factored into 5x plus 1 and 5x minus 1. Don't forget to bring down that common factor from earlier in the problem, and now we have factored that binomial completely. Sometimes in our binomials, we might have a variable in common that needs to be factored out. That's the case in exercise D, 88a to the 4th minus 245a to the 2nd. Notice that not only is there a numerical common factor, but there's also the variable a squared that can be factored out. We begin by factoring out 5a squared. When we factor out 5a squared and divide both of the terms, we're left with 16a squared minus 49 in the parentheses. Instantly, we notice that there is a difference of perfect squares, 16a squared minus 49. We can factor that binomial into the two binomials 4a plus 7 times 4a minus 7. Don't forget to bring down the common factor 5a squared, and now we have factored completely. Here's an example for you to try. Can you factor 3x to the third minus 75x completely? Remember, first look for the greatest common factor, and then look for a difference of perfect squares. Pause the video here, then come back, and we'll see how you did. Let's see how you did. We begin by factoring out the greatest common factor, which is 3x. When we divide by 3x, we find that our parentheses has x squared minus 25, a difference of two perfect squares. We know that we can factor that difference of two perfect squares into x plus 5 times x minus 5. Don't forget to bring down the common factor of 3x from earlier in the problem, and now you have factored completely. 
Something interesting that happens on occasion is when we start with a difference of two perfect squares that actually has a common factor built into it. 81x squared minus 36 is a problem just like that. If you take the advice I've always given you, you'll begin by factoring out the greatest common factor of 9, leaving us with 9x squared minus 4 in the parenthesis. You'll notice that 9x squared minus 4 is a difference of perfect squares and we can factor that into 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2 and of course we'll bring down the 9 which was the greatest common factor from earlier in the problem. But what if you took a different approach? What if you saw 81x squared minus 36 and instantly thought this is a difference of two perfect squares? 9x times 9x gives me 81x squared and 6 times 6 gives me the 36. That means we can factor the binomial into 9x plus 6 times 9x minus 6. But that doesn't look anything like the answer we got the first time, where we had 9 times 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2. But notice each of the factors that we've written. In 9x plus 6, we can factor out a common factor of 3, giving us 3 times 3x plus 2. And if you look at the second factor, 9x minus 6, we can also factor out a common factor of 3, leaving us with 3x minus 2 in the parenthesis. If we take those two 3's that are on the outside and group them together and multiply them, we end up with 9 times 3x plus 2 times 3x minus 2, the same solution we came up with the first time. Let's end today with one last example. Remember, you always have to be careful when you're working with perfect squares. In this case, we have 12v to the second plus 27. Of course, we factor out the common factor and we end up with 4v squared plus 9. Be careful, this is not a difference of perfect squares. This is a sum. Therefore, we cannot factor this expression any further and we take our answer 3 times 4v squared plus 9. And now you know everything that you need in order to factor polynomials using both greatest common factor and difference of two perfect squares combined. Remember, you can find more information about factoring in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook, available at www.dorypublications.com.